Hey guys, let's see what Tox plays. Today, Tox plays unplayed games from his Steam library. Today's game is Highlands. Hi guys, it's Tox Drawis, ready to play Highlands for this week's Steam Void. Um, you might notice two different things about my uh, camera. One is that I flipped it. Uh, previously it was mirrored. Um, that was, I guess, the default and I decided to change it. Um, so this is how the world actually sees me. And uh, so I figured I'd let you see me that way too. Um, secondly, it might be, you might think this is kind of a weird place for my camera. Um, what I found is that there are notifications in all four corners and I didn't want to block those. So um, I think this will be okay. Um, I don't think this will block anything. I think like the main map can be moved around so I can if I think about it, I'll move my face away from, or I'll move the map around so my face isn't blocking things, but um, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. All right, let's begin. Um, let's just do normal. Higher and higher, the highlands drifted and shaded the stars. Up in the air, mankind mastered the sky. Dynasties were born and ruled as they saw fit. They met to trade, make peace, wage war. The Duke Arslan ruled his land wisely, unaware of the disaster that would befall his family. Of course my face is on someone's face, whoops. What was that? It was really loud. Whatever it was, it's not normal. <clears throat> I've got a bad feeling about this. Look. I can see smoke rising from the castle. Something's happened. It might be dangerous. Stay here with Micah. I'll go ahead and ahead and scout. What? A bot is blocking the path to the castle? Out of my way. Looks like the Highlands is under attack. To arms! Your objective is to take all main characters to the castle. Okay, everyone's trying to get here. And fight back the invaders. Be careful if any man Member of the royal family dies, you lose the game. Okay. You can always go back to this objective screen by clicking on the scroll situated at the bottom right of your screen. Good luck. All right, let's try it. To attack, select her by clicking her token. Okay. Drag her to the enemy sector. Okay. To confirm your actions, press end turn. Okay. This is the combat screen. Here are your troops and the enemy clash for the for control of the sectors all right this is the health 10 if your health drops to zero character will die okay uh, damage output dealt by your troops at each attack the lower your health the lower your damage output would be oh so you deal less damage if your health is lower good to know battle ends when you or the enemy is defeated okay press the attack buddy button when ready Attack. Sweet. I only took one damage. One, two stars. Each character gains three experience. As the battle ends, Cecilia pauses to take a look around. She sees nothing unusual except frightened faces watching from behind the shutters of a nearby house. Fortunately, she faced but a lone enemy. Relieved at her luck, Cecilia... Wait. Cecilia? Cecilia? I don't know. Calls for her brothers. I'm going to say Cecilia because Cecilia. It looks like it's Cecilia. I'll say Cecilia. Cecilia? Cecilia. I don't know. Cecilia calls for her brothers, but as her eyes look towards the castle, her voice falters. More and more swarm bots are headed her way. Guys, I could use some help. Quick, Leo. Cece's in trouble. As a general rule, attacking enemies when you have as much attack 
as them is risky at best. To overcome strong enemies, you can attack with multiple characters. Select all characters at once, make a selection box by clicking and dragging over your entire group. Leoric and Micah. Uh, drag Cecilia, Leoric, and Micah on the enemy sector to proceed. Okay. And I guess end turn, or do I hit the attack? Last time it told me to end, I think, but I'll just make this see what happens. Okay. I guess I, I guess I have to end. During battles, all of your characters attack at the same time. The damage output is updated accordingly to the total strength of your characters. Okay. You can decide which of your characters will take the damage of the next attack by clicking on its token. Watch out. Character death is permanent, and the death of a hero will end the game. In this case, why don't you give a break to Cecilia by choosing Leoric as the blocker. Okay. And then I guess I just hit attack. Alright. More experience. <coughs> are you okay, Leo? Ouch. Those bots are tougher than they look. Approaching the gates of the keep, the newly formed party must pass through a field full of wrecked bots. The walls of the fortress bear the marks of recent combat, but still stand intact. As they approach, the great doors of the keep suddenly crack open and a slender hand signals them to go inside. My children, thank goodness you are all safe. Oh, I'm so glad that you found your way to me. What's happening, Mom? Where's Dad? Good gracious, you're hurt. Explanations can wait. Let me take care of you first. Now that you have an academic in your party, you can heal the wounds of your characters. That's good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when academics heal, it restores the attack of every characters of every character. Let's take that S. The S does not exist. Uh, of every character in its sector at the same time. However, they will need food to perform. Okay. Um, Merrigan. Click on the medic skill on the action wheel. Alright, healing, like other skills in the game, happens at the beginning of the next turn after troops movement. Okay, so end turn and we should all heal, I guess. Now there, isn't that better? We've heard an explosion coming from the castle. Where are the swarm bots coming from? Why are they attacking? What's controlling them? There were some men with the automats. Some kind of raiders coming from an unknown highland. I have no idea how they broke into the castle. Where's father? Oh, that was a kid's voice. I don't remember her voice. Where's father? No, that's... <coughs> Where's father? <laughs> Tell me he's alive. <laughs> of course he is. He's still fighting with his men. We have to help him, even if it's just four of us. I'm sure people will have gathered at Rendall's Tavern. We should try to recruit some of them to reinforce your father's men. Okay, select them all. Why or does she not attack? She's only a medic, I guess. Then okay, I think she still needs. To, oh no, she's got attack. I guess I don't know. Twenty-one to three, I think we'll be fine. Uh, in turn. Well, what's this? Does this actually do anything? I don't think it does. Okay, uh, let's have her take the hit since she has the most health. And attack. Eleven to one. Okay. After the initial shock of fighting the swarm bots, Rendall's tavern is a relief for sore eyes. The building stands strong and defiant, undisturbed against the landscape of chaos. The sounds of laughter and the merry chinking of glasses echo from within, inviting all who hear to enter. It looks like the tavern is still holding up for now, but we better be careful. Whoa, check out that bridge. It might be risky to try and handle all these swarm bots alone. <laughs> Let's head inside and see if we can rally some people to help us. I don't know. Her voice sucks. <laughs> when you reclaim a sector with a tavern, you gain the ability to recruit people. More people. Yay. You can click the tavern to open the recruitment screen. Okay. In the game, you can recruit characters from different classes, but for now, the only the, com the combatant class is available. Okay. Oh. Does that keep changing his name and is interesting okay um 
Hakan Dracovic. Dracovic. Uh, character level one. Cost 30 stars. I have 36. Upkeep is two food. That's fine. Let's recruit. Okay. <clears throat> can I recruit more? I can. I don't have enough, though. Okay. Let's move everyone over here. Fight. Yes. Um, oops, wrong button. <laughs> trying to click the number. Uh, oh, and we do kill him. Two experience for everyone. Or er, wait. Is that what it said? No, two stars and three experience for everyone, I think. Oops. Um, okay, try to move the map. Oh, I see. It's just... Uh, I have it in like partial windowed so that scrolling corners wasn't working. Um, okay. Attack. End of turn six. That's mechanic. I don't think I have any yet. I don't think I need to heal yet. Okay, attack. Fortify my sector. To fortify a sector, select Leor. I can click the fortify skill on the action wheel. Two fortification points to sector at end of turn. One points per mechanic of the assigned characters. Okay. Interesting. And then I guess the other four, I will attack here. Oh, maybe it wants me to keep everyone there for now. I guess, yeah, I, I think that's good. Okay, uh, attack. Oh, I just, well... After liberating the sector, a solitary house on the way to the castle beckons to be entered. Its windows sit open and its door ajar, as if its inhabitants held no concern of the swarm bot danger. As the heirs of Arislan are approaching the entrance, the sound of shifting steps draws near. Well, who's there? Ah, the royal family of Arislan. Shouldn't you be inside the castle? I've seen vicious-looking autom automats roaming the countryside. We're on our way back there right now, Professor Dietrich. Di Dietrich. The Duke is holding back the raiders as we speak. Come with us. It's a mess in here. Oh, I fear I'm not fit to fight. I'll just stay here until the dust settles a bit. Good luck to you all. Be careful, Master. I don't think I'm doing a good job with these voices. Um, he wasn't even at the house. What's going on there? Okay, uh, I'm going to have them go... Actually, I'm going to have her heal. Um, how much does she heal? Oh, I guess full health? I don't know. I'm going to move them back. I'm going to move him here. Oh, are they going to attack? I see. So I'll keep them there for one turn. No, hold on. I'm just going to have them all go here. That's fine. And attack. All right. Father, you're all right. Thank goodness you're all alive. Now stay with me. There are many enemies about. What's happening? Why are you alone? They've killed all my guards, but I've managed to avoid every trap laid by these raiders and their swarm bots and flee the castle. I'm just awesome. For a while there, I thought I'd die on this very ground with all these brave men who protected me. Don't say that. We're here to help you. And we've brought reinforcements. Indeed, the tide is definitely turning. Let's take back the castle. Okay. Let's take back the castle. How many steps are almost there, it looks like. Okay. Uh, and 
turn. Attack. 48. What the heck? I guess that's why he's the king. Um, why does that say question mark? That's a little worrisome. I'm going to heal. And he is going to fortify. And he is going to fortify. And I'm going to end turn. And now that everyone's healed, I'm just going to have everyone attack. Okay. Wait, what? Didn't I bring everyone? Ah, I'm glad it told me that. That would have been horrible. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> would have just lost. All right. Everyone, go. Are you all set? Let's show them what we're made of. I've got a bad feeling about this. As they boldly make their advance on the drawbridge, a strange foreboding sensation falls over them. Suddenly, several raiders rush out of the castle and reinforce the troops already in position. They watch as an enormous man dressed for war pushes his way through the enemies. He approaches with fiery eyes and a wide, wicked smile. Ivar Demarion. Duke Arislan, we meet at last. Let us not waste words between us. Let our armies speak on our behalf. Okay, so I guess that's the bad guy. Beware! They're more numerous than I first thought. Stay behind me and watch out for stray bullets. Um, stay behind him? Well, I don't want him to die. How about... Our, oh, will he not let me change? He won't let me change. I was going to kill off the guy I recruited. But um, I guess that's the story. Is he supposed to die, maybe? Father, no! Forget this! We must retreat! What? She's gonna die too? Oh no, it's telling me to withdraw. I see. With a smile of satisfaction, Ivar de Marion slowly draws a massive sword sheathed at his side. Powerless to resist, the Duke Arislan awaits his fate, pointing the blade of the Duke's head. Ivar gloats at the despair and anguish flowing from the pathetic scion's face. His long-laid plans finally coming to fruition, the leader of the raiders smirks and says, I guess that we could say you've lost the game, eh? With a single swift motion, the enormous man thrusts his sword through the duke's chest. In a potent thump of finality, the duke Arislan falls to the ground, his lifeless eyes fixed upon the horrified faces of his family. However, Ivar's perfect moment of triumph is short-lived. As a commotion breaks out at the castle's gate, Arislan's soldiers storm their way in and free the duke's family. Infuriated, Ivar pushes his way to the back of the line and out of harm's way. Among the clashing intruders, Ivar glimpses the imp impudent leader of the r rescuers, a grimly resolute one-armed man. With a snarl, Ivar shouts, you think your savior can protect you? When I'm finished, your highland will never be the same. All right, so that was the intro. And I think that is where we will leave off for this episode of Steam Void. So um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Highlands. And uh, I'll be continuing this throughout the week. Thanks for watching. Talks out. Hi guys. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Highlands. And if you want to watch the next episode, you can hit the arrow up above to go there now. You can also go straight to the playlist and see all the episodes. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you have any comments, positive, negative, whatever, uh, leave them down below. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love a subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Again, thanks for watching. Talks out.